I'd like to welcome you all to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on EUP 1501 Assignment 2. Assignment 2 is based on Microsoft Word and is a MyLab assignment. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest videos the moment that we upload them. If you haven't downloaded our app, please download the app from Google Play to easily navigate to find our content. Okay, so the first thing that you're supposed to do is download your files. Uh, I've already downloaded my files, so I have four files, okay? If you don't know how to download these files, please access the, the video that we posted on how to log in and access uh, assignments, okay? We posted that video already. So once you get to this point, it is important to note that you have one file uh, where you're gonna be doing all your work and another file that will be giving you all the instructions that you need to complete your work, okay? So you'll see this file that's written instructions at the end, uh, it's your instructions files and this file that has your name. In this case, it has Mr. Kali since my name is Kali, okay? Uh, yours will have your name. It is important to note that you cannot share these files, okay? Everyone has unique files, even though the instructions are the same, even though the final document will look almost the same, uh, you don't have to share your files. If you do that, you'll be flagged as someone who had plagiarized, okay? So once you get here, just open the two files, okay? Uh, you'll open this one, that is your name. It will be a blank file. As you can see, it has nothing inside, okay? So don't panic when you open your file and you find that there is nothing inside. Uh, it is as it should be, okay? Uh, then the second, the second file that you need to open is the instructions files, okay? I've already opened this one here. Once you get to this point, you are ready to begin with assignment two, okay? Uh, what you're supposed to do is to read the instruction here and then implement whatever it says you should do on the other document, okay? So uh, step number one uh, says that we need to open open the word document student underscore word blah, 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 photography downloaded with this project and you don't get points for this. Uh, they're telling you to open your file. So under student here, this will be replaced by your, your name, okay? If you are Mr. Zeta, it will say Mr. Zeta. If you are Mr. Kumalo, it will say Mr. Kumalo. If you are Miss whatever, it will say whatever, okay? So once you're done opening the two files, you need to move to step number two. In step number two, it says type sports and team photography and then press enter, okay? Before reading the rest of the instructions, let us just implement this, okay? Uh, we're gonna copy this. I'd advise you to copy this instead of typing so that you avoid making errors, okay? So if you're not familiar with using a computer, just place your cursor here at the beginning of this text and then uh, right click and hold and move your mouse across uh, and highlight the text that you want to copy and then left click okay uh, and then left click to get options and then select copy okay and then after copying this you need to move to the document that has your name as part of the file name okay uh, I've already copied this and then you when you get here before you start typing I'd advise you to use this option here uh, it is very helpful when you you're not sure if you've included an extra space or not so if you include an extra space it will indicate it will show you it will show you that you've included an extra space by writing a dot just like you see now this dot here okay i'm just going to delete the dot and then paste uh, the text that we copied from the instructions file okay so you see there is not dot here meaning there is no space since there is a space here you can see there are dots here okay so after doing this, the instruction told us that we need to press enter after typing uh, that text, okay? Press enter. And then let's go back to the instructions file to read what we are supposed to do next, okay? Uh, okay, we get here. Okay, so now we are here. 
Uh, it says we need to type uh, Light Magic Studio is a full service photography studio. Okay. Uh, please do the same thing. Just copy the text instead of typing. Okay. Uh, remember to include the full stop. Copy the text and then move it to your file. Okay. Then we they, they said we should type it here. Then you type it here, including the full stop. Okay. After doing this, you need to go back. Go back to the instructions file and read the next statement. It says we need to press space bar after the period. Okay. So for those of you who are not sure what a space bar is, a space bar is that big button that you find uh, in your computer. Okay. There is one big button in the keyboard, and that's your space bar. Okay. Uh, so select, use that one. Okay, it says here we need to press the space bar after the period. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. Let's go back and press the space bar. Okay, press the space bar. After pressing the space bar, if you are using this option here, you'll see it has included a, a something like a full stop here. Okay, this indicates that there is a space, so the space bar is used for creating space. Okay. Then after doing that, let's go back to the instructions file and read what we are supposed to do next. Okay. It says that we need to, okay, insert the text from the file downloaded with this project. Okay. The name of the text, uh, the name of the file that, in, that contains the text is uh, word underscore one G uh, teams, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that is what we are supposed to do. So you need to insert a text from a text file. To do this, you need to go to your, or to, you need to select this option here, insert, click insert, and then move to uh, object, okay? So uh, in under, under this drop down menu next to object, click on it, okay? And then you'll see that you've got object and uh, text from file, okay? So select the text from file, uh, then it will open a dialog box where you can access your files. Just move to where you saved your files. Okay, in this case, you can see I've saved my files under downloads, and then I'll go to the folder, uh, Mr. Kali, blah, blah, blah. And then we are looking for this text file here. Okay, just click on it to select it, and then click on this insert here. Okay, so once you have done this, you are done with step number two. Uh, this simply means you have four marks now, okay? So please watch the next video to see how to do step number three. And if you are a member, you'll probably access these videos earlier than the rest of the group, okay? Thank you for watching.